Hi everyone, how are you doing? It's another beautiful day for us. It's another beautiful day for us. Or uh, today is uh, Wednesday, four. Today, uh, I don't know why. All right. Today is for Wednesday, 2022. I've started a discussion, I think the day before yesterday, on what we need to do to keep safe at the time of election. But all these things I'm talking about is not only needed at the time of election. We need to be using it and put it in all of our day-to-day -day activities. These are very simple things that we neglect, that we fail to take cognizance of. All right? So we need to... It's just very, very simple stuff. Very simple. Now, for today, we are going to discuss two. The how to keep safe at the time of election number two and three. Now, let's discuss number one and number two. Identification. Identification. You see, it's very simple. How do you identify people around you? How do you identify you when you are living security is all about all of us security is all about me and you security should not be put in the care of all security agents alone security we are the one that own security we are the custodians of security we manage security we call the police and tell them what we see or what we saw. We tell them what to do. We tell them what we feel. We identify and tell them all our accounts. We are the witness. If you are staying in a community, I should be able to identify who stays in each of these houses around me. If I see a new face, I should be able to recognize the fact that this person is a new person around this place. If I see another person, I should be able to recognize that. I think I've seen this face before. Security is all about me. So the, third, the second one is identification. When you are going to the polling booth, you should be able... Now, everybody, according to the plans, is you should vote in your community. So... No strange faces should come around you. If any strange faces around you, then you should be able to like, have you seen this person before? So, identification, identify. Now, the point is, when you go there, identify everybody's duty. The INEC officials, what this, uh, you know, they use uh, uh, NYSC, the call members. Okay, this is a call member. This is own duty. This is a paramilitary officer. This the, their own. This is their own duty. This is party agents. This is their own duty. This is observers. This is their own duty. Identify everybody and with their duties. Identification. And then the polit the politicians, especially those ones that want to um, do, you no, know, they probably planning evil or planning something bad. They will only use talks around you. The talks you all can identify. You know why? Because they don't want to kill anybody. They just want to create fear. So if they use someone you don't know, you probably want to defend the, the, the boxes. You want, you want to defend your votes. And at the end of the day, these people may be forced to kill. And the police will not even do anything. And then, so that is why I said mostly they will want to use a uh, recognized talks. You all know. So when you start seeing them around, 
you should be able to know and then that is what they want to uh, they want to to they want to create probably uh, a um a party is losing and they've planned okay so when we are losing you and your guys should come and when they are on their way and they are coming like with all um the gadgets or whatever weapons they have without even seeing the weapons you recognize them oh that's a court member oh that's a thug that's a political they want you to recognize them and then you take to your feet you run away and then they'll be able to do what they want to do and that is to snatch box boxes so politicians will not likely use they may not likely use unrecognized talks they will use some of the talks you all know even if they want to use someone else from another community or from another state they will still have to work with the ones on the ground and because those who will be able to navigate the community around them so if you if they crime doesn't just come it has to be planned all right so identification address identify people identify that is why i said you have to use all this in into your put it into your day-to-day -day activities these are things we all know but we don't we don't you know put into into work so identification in your, in your environment when you see somebody strange try to focus on them or what they want to do i've seen some people like you don't there are things we need security if you really want security to work you, you can see most of these uh, um uh, crime people dis, uh, detect they it is the people around that detect them not mostly not police so because you can identify some certain thing all right so identification when you go to the polling booth try to identify people around people that are supposed to work the officials the observers if you don't know a, a particular person or you don't know his work ask people around you who is that person ah that is a, a INEC commissioner in this area what, what about that one ah this one is a, a independent uh, observer what about this one? Ah, no, this one is a party agent. It's uh, from this so, so so party. Oh, okay. Identification. Let me not dwell much on that. Now, let's go to sign. You see? The, f the, the f third one is signs. Signs, signs. How do you use your sign? Sign is so very easy. And it can save a lot of stress. Now, what do I mean by science? How do I use science? Crime, like I said, can cannot just happen. It takes a long procedure and a lot of energy to plan crime. In the process of planning crime, you as a person can detect it if you want to really focus on it. Don't just wave signs like nothing will happen look at sign as very important and it's an instrument for you for example you are driving on a two-way road and then this is a, supposed to be a busy road and you've been driving before you be people you know oncoming vehicle have been coming passing by within just two to three minutes not even three minutes two to three seconds you see another vehicle oncoming at one point they start coming and you drove almost five minutes without meeting no uh, upcoming vehicle. That is a sign. Very simple. S slow down. If, we are, if you are driving on a, a, a hundred kilometer per hour, slow down. Discuss it with your occupants. Or you call somebody and say, I'm going on this road. And then for the past five minutes, I didn't see oncoming vehicle. Don't you guys notice something? I've been driving for two minutes, no oncoming vehicle. And then they will say, okay, uh, why don't you slow down? We are not going to move forward until we see at least one vehicle coming. 
anything will have happened in the front. Anything can happen. Accidents, kidnapping, robbery, anything will have stopped the oncoming vehicle from coming. And if you see one vehicle eventually coming, flash and down, and say, flash that person down and say, please, is anything? In fact, I am with Jerry and when you're telling me, I, 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 people will say, turn back, turn back, turn back, turn back. What if they are hold up already? So these are signs. They may be very simple. Criminals too, they make mistakes. Because, like I told you, crime is so very difficult to to plan and execute without any signs or any small mistakes so in everywhere you go you want to enter a vehicle you want to come down from a vehicle you are going to the polling boat you are coming from the polling boat don't forget signs there are some people maybe they are not supposed to call they are not supposed to talk maybe they gave them like okay this is the rules when you see that we are losing all you need to do is to call and after you have that is why i bring the two together when after identifying who and who on this unit on this polling unit and then you understand that okay this this one this one this one come from this particular um parties good just relax and do what you want to do we'll get to that stage and all of a sudden you see this one getting agitated and you no know, static start calling start going and you no know, at one point there is there's a kind of uh, argument and then after the arguments it went you you just no it this is not really a kind of uh, uh big assignment to do and you start texting signs you see when someone is upset there's we we have non-verbal sign and we have verbal communication and non-verbal communication you see some people without even listening to what they have uh, they have uh, their discussion the non-verbal communication has must must have given them out like this person this is what he's talking about but the point is, please don't use it negatively. Some people will see such a sign and then the next thing they will do is, Hello? Ah, what in jam They have started beating themselves. They have started killing themselves. No, don't give wrong information. Don't use that signs negatively. Please. Nigerians are so fond of doing that and they've really put a lot of people into problems. You see a police officer coming to your to someone's house just because you don't like that person doesn't mean you should call that start calling. Oh, police have come to arrest him. I, I told you he's a criminal. I told you that guy is a criminal. You are in a you don't even know what happened. You don't know that this police officer is just a friend to this person. And the next thing you are started calling, calling people, and the people will say, Oh, Allah Patimu, ah, God, God, God. And then you don't know how much this communication, how, how, how fast it can go. And now when you pass such information, before you take it back, that person has called another person, have called another person, and you messed up the life of that person. So please, don't use your sign, the sign you send. You just need to just discuss it with someone, a hey, friend. Ah, why is he... Why is he upset? Ah, they are losing. They are already losing now. They are losing. Hey, why? Who is he calling? Ah, maybe he's calling. So, okay. Identification with sign. Then, at four points, on the arrow, Tobati Mokineko. Let me refrain that. Ogwa, we tell like a Tobago. No. And when you say that, okay, the situation is tense, the atmosphere is getting, you no, know, very, very tense, then what you need to do as a person is look around you. Where is the easy way to escape? All right? And then we'll talk about other, other points later. I don't want to push it too much. 
So just use your sign positively. Talk to your family. Come, <laughs> this place is getting hot. I, I learned that this person is from this party and this one, they are losing already and it's getting so very agitated. Okay. Just leave this place. Show to vote. I've not voted. I'm still on the line. That's my line. That's my that's the that's why I will I will advise the INEC to give people um uh what do we call it? Tag. If you come to register, give them number one, number two, number three. And then if possible, they should set up something. Maybe um we are in a global world now, internet world whereby you can know which if it's your turn or something then another thing i don't want to talk about the next stage the next point all right sign and this sign we can use it in our day-to-day -day activities at all you see somebody passing going and coming back the first the second time and this person is not a known face to you in your environment see that as a sign if you don't want to confront that person that okay what is he looking for you don't have to fight ah do you need any help you go there as do you need any help can i help you like you care but in the actual fact you want to know what's going on you want to know his business in your environment you want to know whether he wants to kidnap you want to know things all right it has gotten to a point now that you every size must be reasoned with before you take a step all right see sign there is a house and you know the person is not a, uh, is not around in the money they they, they 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 every doors was closed and you notice is a, there is a sign that one one uh, window has been opened that's a sign that something has changed something has changed so i cannot dwell much on this sign because this sign is so very big we see it every minute the problem is we don't you know recognize signs whether we are going in we are coming out signs in our children when they start changing this is a bright young boy all of a sudden it starts putting into you know depression starts setting in uh, don't just wave it away that maybe it's passing through his own days. Check. See how you can help. See how to know what is the, this boy is going through. That really affects his mental uh, and, and mental psychological uh, no, uh, behavior. Signs. Identification is what we discussed today. I don't want to go too, you know, I don't want it to be too long. So that's why I'm going to hand it right now. But signs. It's not something too big to understand, but it is time we start. If you look at those people that have arrested, you know, people who carry um, dead body, head, body parts, they gave out themselves with a little sign and people walk on that simple, small sign. And that's it. They will do something. Is it that they are too agitated, or they sleep, or anything, or you see the sign? That is why anytime you are talking to someone, look them in the eyes. All right. Look for any signs. Is this person saying the truth or not? Signs, please work on that. And identification is still very important. All right, very, very important. Identify people, all right? And God will help us. Bye-bye for now. My name is Comrade Hakim Yolaemi from Pralag International. There are some, when I started this, um, to talk on my page, on this page, I started with Yoruba language. And then a lot of people have been saying, though, English language, you're just pushing it. And then people, the Yoruba people say, no, why are you speaking this? We don't enjoy you anymore. And I said, okay, I have another page. Step right, uh, step right, um, sorry, step, step radio, step right radio, step radio. So, and then 
Igbese Radio on Facebook. So I will be doing Yoruba program on that page. If you want to follow me, go there and follow me. And then I will continue to discuss using English or broken on this page. But I want to carry out and carry along my own Yoruba people because all our radio program when we started, we started Yoruba language. When I started on this page, I started I, I was using Yoruba language. But all of a sudden it's like I just you know abandoned them. So step step radio, let's meet there. We'll talk and we'll start using Yoruba on that um on that on that page. Alright. Once again, thanks for joining. Please, number one that I discuss is what's I want to remember what I said just three days ago. I talk about. Can you imagine? <laughs> so, um, news, news, real time news. I said I talk about real time news, not a dead news. If something is happening, out there right now there are some prints who still the same thing that happened eight o'clock this morning the print media will print it out maybe the following your next and the three days after the radio station will check what is the uh, BBC what does they have anything to do with the violation of the code from BBNBC before they they report something like this. There are lots of codes violation. Don't do, don't do in NBC um, rules that the radio station will not want to radio and TV station will not want to you know violate. So that also reduce or if possible block some of the news we needed. So that's why I said, okay, real life uh, news or information from social media is very, very important. Because while you are home, you are checking your 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 um, Facebook, your social media, and just now people say, I just left there right now. I just left there two minutes ago. Can you imagine? So no news will tell you that. Conventional news anyway. All right, today we discuss about um, identification and science. So thank you very much. Next time we'll discuss something else. Bye-bye.